man look at that look how low the boat is he actually had to remove water from the boat but he's paddling he's paddling slowly she'll cut it right there someone came with fish in the meantime and let me show you guys quick our little room right here which is actually quite big but these are the nets you definitely need to have the nets in order to protect yourself from the mosquitoes here's a better view of the bamboos how gigantic they are just like the ones in japan oh man check this out how steep how straight the palm is Boom, this is how it is from the ocean overlooking the village of Bure, the beach of Bure, the rocks shining in the sun. Look at that. Yep, this is uh, actually what I was expecting from uh, Banana Island. I can't imagine how hot it gets in one of these houses, all metal guys. And the silhouette of the palms overlooking the atlantic ocean guys something you don't see every day guys a tank just laying around here on the streets of freetown in sierra leone it's probably for spare parts or for uh you know a scrap metal but man who would have thought What is happening everyone welcome back to another episode from Sierra Leone guys heading over towards TY Island but let me show you a few things along the way like this river check out the color the yellowish color of this river guys I think uh, people are extracting sand from underground uh, from under the river man let's look on this side as well but there's a car coming our car is right there. You can feel the dust. You can feel the every time a car goes by here, guys. I mean, you can tell. There you go. They're removing the sand and then uh, they're taking it to the shore. Most likely they're going to use them for houses and so on. But the color of the river, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Man, look at that. Look how low the boat is. He actually had to remove water from the boat. But he's paddling. He's paddling slowly. More people on this side of the river as well. But check out the view with the tree right there and the bridge. Very, very cool. The color, guys. The color of the river is unbelievable. How yellow it is. We've been on the road already for about two, two and a half hours. This is the first time the police stopped us here in Sierra Leone and uh, actually asked for a little bit of uh, cash. So far, Sierra Leone has been top notch. You know, nowhere else here in West Africa, people, the police. Yep, yep, I see you. Nowhere else. The people have been uh, so nice to us, you know, just asking for the documents and looking over them and that's pretty much it. A little pineapple break. Check out how humongous the pineapples are. Look at this. Man. Yeah, banana plantains here, papaya. What is this? Yam. Lamb? Yam. Yam, oh yam, potato yam. Okay. Very nice. What's your name? What's your name? Christiana, I'm Gino. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, they're very delicious we had one and we we're going for a second one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Everywhere, everywhere here you can find pineapple alongside the road. Look at this. Very, very sweet actually. One, one of the best ones that I ever had. $2 though, so you know we had cheaper. Uh, not the greatest, greatest quality, but uh, yeah, once you pay $2, you can tell why it's so, uh, so expensive. She'll cut it right there. Someone came with fish in the meantime. Let me take you back to a time when, time when love was as precious as diamonds. Where if you search, you would find it. Guys, finally made it to the village near Ty Island, where we're gonna take the boat and go on the other side to the island itself. Let me show you the conditions here in the village. Oh, bunch of kids everywhere, of course. When the white people show up, everyone joins out of curiosity to see how things are. Yeah, back in the day, there used to be a whole bunch of uh, pygmy hippos here. There still are some monkeys. A uh, whole bunch of uh, birds But yeah, this is a village probably 200 right there Kambama the name of the village probably 200 300 people that live here But yeah, we're unloading right now waiting for the canoe to take us on the other side and I'll show you guys more along the way And this is pretty much it the end of the village I Have some people here beating up the wheat where it looks like most likely to make the bread but yeah a simple life here <laughs> So at first I thought it was wheat, but no, it's actually rice Heading towards the river the guy came he was there for like 10 minutes i had no idea and that was him who i was talking on the phone to earlier today i sent him a picture of me so he can recognize me but uh, he didn't say anything you know we gave some candy to the kids and uh you know we're just exploring the local life and uh yeah, we're waiting waiting and waiting and all of a sudden you know i saw a guy with a phone i said hey can you call you know the guy from the refuge and he said uh oh, i'm the one so yeah either way this is the path towards the river the village is behind us so yeah let's see a couple of days here a couple of nights on ty island guys and here we have it ty island surrounded by the moa river on both sides around 12 square kilometers or so and on the boat itself on the island itself check out the humongous bamboos that they have here at the entrance everywhere absolutely everywhere yeah they have a, a formal entrance here here's a better view of the bamboos how gigantic they are just like the ones in Japan so the deal is, I was not sure exactly what the conditions on Ty are, but uh, that's why I brought a mosquito net. I know they have uh, something like a bungalow, so uh, that's a uh, that's a plus. People used to sleep in tents back in the day, 
This used to be very popular from my understanding uh, way back in the day, you know, before the Civil War and then uh, after things uh, stopped, you know, when the Civil War stopped, uh, things were uh, kind of revamped a little bit. But yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of walking involved in order to get to the sanctuary. A whole bunch of birds, you can hear them. You cannot hear them right now because I'm speaking, but they are a whole bunch of birds. First, I thought they would be bungalows, but no, they're actually little houses, which are quite nice as well. Our rooms are all in this part right here, all surrounded by green lush. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more uh, wilderness, let's put it that way. But, uh, you know, when it comes to the accommodation, bungalows or, you know, some type of uh, little stilled houses. But no, everything very, very, very modern. So, yeah, you can definitely say that uh, back in the day, this place was popular because this sanctuary, is, uh, it's an actual sanctuary. And let me show you guys quick our little room right here, which is actually quite big. But these are the nets. You definitely need to have the nets in order to protect yourself from the mosquitoes. It did not pull all the way, but uh, in the back there, but that should do for a couple of nights. We have our own nets, but still, you know, this one is humongous, so we can pull it all over the bed. This is a two by two, so we actually have to get out because this portion right here, you cannot pass. Man, it's tough. Do it. Man. <laughs> 